Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the Team Aquascape channel. Today we have a super fun project, one day build, and we are going to be putting in a large stack slate urn on about a thousand gallon reservoir out here in the front yard of this gorgeous home. Chris and Juan just pulled up with the truck. We've got all of our equipment. We have all the product and some of our materials loaded up in there. So we're going to unload everything. We've got a machine back behind us. We're going to dig this thing out. We're going to get this thing done like that. I promise you. You guys ready? Let's do this. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Okay, so like I said, we are doing a large stack slate urn today. We've got a thousand gallon reservoir, which approximately a thousand gallons. We've got 30 large aqua blocks, and this is going to be our canvas for the day. Today's episode is all about curb appeal. We have this gorgeous home. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. We've got the Juliet balconies. We've got all kinds of big windows, and then we've got this main street right here, gorgeous driveway coming up. So our job is going to be adding a beautiful fountainscape right in here. We've got some Pennsylvania field stone. Got a bunch of gravel, 30 large aqua blocks. We've got a 25 by 25 liner. And this is going to be where we're going to locate the reservoir. The customer's main office is that window right there. So he works from home. So we're gonna be able to capitalize on that view and really make something special for him to enjoy and look at while he's going through the doldrums of his workday while adding curb appeal to this amazing house. So you guys ready to do this? Okay. All right, so we've got the reservoir laid out. We've got a six aqua block by five aqua block footprint. So we've got 30 large aqua blocks. We went ahead and laid it out. We've got some irrigation that we're probably going to have to contend with. That's those little blue flags right there. We're going to go ahead and lay some paint on the ground, get this thing marked out, and start digging and throwing all the dirt right into the truck. So let's not waste any time and get moving. It is still going smooth out here and we are still on track to hit our deadline. Chris went back with the first load of soil. Here's what we ran into through excavation. So Juan's over here cleaning up the edge, but there's an enormous amount of riprap. This is a lot of that three to five inch stuff in through here. So we want to make sure that we get rid of as much of this as we can. So we're going to over dig it and then throw some bedding sand down, which we'll show you a little bit later in the video. Once we get our hole dug, we'll over dig it a little bit, put a couple inches of sand on the bottom and then go ahead and get our fabric liner fabric brick, aqua blocks, and then we will backfill with sand as well. What do you think? No? Okay. <laughs> So like I said, digging conditions are pretty disgusting. So we over dug everything and now we are putting down a layer of torpedo sand to just give us some cushion and some cheap insurance. You can see all of the rock and crap that's all on that backside, all the way around actually, which was a majority of what we took out. So what we're gonna do is we put a layer of bedding sand down and then we are going to get our fabric and liner, fabric, aqua blocks and pump vault in. And then we are going to wrap the liner back over the blocks and then we will backfill with sand all the way around just to ensure that nothing happens. That'll also help the subterranean drainage around the perimeter of the basin. So we will do that and we will be right back. Big milestone, we've got fabric, liner fabric in. Because of the conditions, we ended up doubling up the fabric. So we've got one, two on top of the liner and then underneath the liner, and then here, we also have two pieces. So doubling up the insurance with the sand, I guess it would be quadrupling the insurance with the sand, the double underlayment underneath and the double underlayment on top. We're gonna go ahead and get these aqua blocks in and get our reservoir set so we can go ahead and start backfilling and then get our urn on top. Urn 
turn is in. We've got a little bit of foam foaming our shims together. At least it wasn't quite level, just off by about a quarter inch on that back side. So we just shimmed up the urns. We've got that in. We got our pipe in. Now we're gonna start slamming some of these rocks in and really shaping out this reservoir. So we're gonna layer a lot of this Pennsylvania field stone that we have on the palace back over there. Gorgeous stuff. Some of it's eight inches thick, some of it's six inches thick, some of it's a foot thick. So we're gonna kind of layer this stuff together. We've got about two tons of Mexican pebbles over there that we're gonna end up rocking in the basin as well. So we are ready to roll. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna make it today. We're just running out of daylight and we've got some pretty ominous weather behind us. It's a little overcast now, but it looks like it's coming in. So we are gonna be back tomorrow and we're gonna finish this thing up. We're gonna get, but here's where we're at. We've got some flow cell panels and aqua block panels kind of vaulting up some of these rocks. The guys are gonna work on getting all of this Mexican pebbles over here on top of the reservoir so that we can go ahead and just be done with the machine work. So the moment we get back, it's all hand work and edge work. So at least we can get the framework and get this thing going, but it looks amazing. Can't wait to show you guys the finished product. Stay tuned. That is correct, everybody. We are back out here on this cool fountainscape project. We've got some additional help. We've got the boys from Memphis over here, and we are gonna wrap up this fountainscape within a couple hours this morning. If you remember, we got out here. We didn't have any soil. We're gonna finish all these edges, get some irrigation repair, but we are here to run. We've got Memphis Water Gardens. We've got four of the guys with us, but we're gonna get this thing buttoned up and then get the heck out of here. You guys are gonna be able to see this thing running very, very soon. It's gonna look incredible. The last little wheelbarrow out. We just fired this thing up and it looks absolutely stunning. I love the Mexican pebbles. I love the shape of everything. Just the action that's on it is just incredible. We've got our four and a half watt lights. We've got one there, one over on the backside over there, and then there's another one down here. Just looks so awesome. And there's also one up in the top. Absolutely beautiful. Really sets off the front side of this house. Thank God for the Memphis Water Gardens gang getting out here and giving us a hand. We got it done in just a couple hours of cleanup this morning. And it just this looks sweet.